Welcome back to 12 Days in March. In this recording, we'll present some sample questions on the congenital neurologic abnormalities that you should be familiar with for step one. So let's launch this bad boy. Question one, an infant has cleft lip, omphalocele, and rocker bottom feet. What else might be expected in this child? Three copies of chromosome 18, a single ventricle on MRI, a Chiari 2 malformation, spina bifida occulta, or a dandy walker malformation? The answer to this question is B. You would expect the lateral ventricles to be fused with holoprosencephaly, which this child has. They also likely have Patau syndrome, which is trisomy 13, not trisomy 18. Chiari malformations, spina bifida, and dandy walker won't be associated with holoprosencephaly for step one. Question two, a four-year-old kid keeps on falling. Here's his MRI. He has a vermis defect, a neural tube defect, a Chiari 1 malformation, syringomyelia, or a cerebellar tumor? The answer is a vermis defect, which is answer A. This is a Dandy Walker malformation with that huge honking fluid-filled cyst replacing the fossa where the cerebellar vermis should be located. This kid is not a Dandy Walker, hence the frequent falls. It isn't a tumor, just a cyst, and it sure as hell ain't a cerebellum. Unlike neural tube defects, Chiari 1 and syringomyelia, Dandy Walker has no important disease associations. Let's move to a standardized patient. You're going to diagnose her. The context here is that she is a 24-year-old woman with no past medical history. While viewing this standardized patient interview, bear in mind that you'll be looking to make a diagnosis based on the clinical presentation and neuroimaging, which we will provide you with. What brings you in today? Um, I've been having a lot of headaches recently. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit more about these headaches? Um, I don't know. They're kind of dull headaches, and they come out of nowhere pretty much. Um, probably last about a half hour each time. Uh, taking ibuprofen helps, though, usually. Okay, that's good to hear. And how long has this all been going on for? Probably about a year. Okay. Um, are you having any other symptoms? Um, I don't know if it's relevant, but I feel like my arms have been feeling kind of weak lately and I've also been kind of more uncoordinated than usual. Okay, so some weakness in your arms, uncoordination. Uh, are you having any weakness anywhere else other than your arms? No, I don't think so. So like not in your legs? No. Nope. Okay. Um, is it all right if I perform a few tests on you? Sure. Okay. So first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is have your arms up like this and try to not let me push you down, okay? Can you make a muscle like this? Try to push out against me. Okay, try to push out against me. Good. Try to pull in. All right, try to pull in. Okay. And now we're gonna do your legs. So lift this leg up against me. Good, lift this leg up. Good, kick out. Kick out, pull in, pull in. All right, lift your toes up and down. Toes up and down. All right, good. Next, I'm going to test some things in your sensation. So can you tell me, does this feel cool? Not really, no. Not really? No. How about here? No. Does it feel cool here? Yeah, it does. Yeah, here. And how about here? Yeah. Okay. What about back here? Uh, no. No? Okay. And just to compare, I'm going to do some vibration too, okay? Can you tell me if you feel this vibrating? Yeah. Yes? Yep. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay, about right here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The patient's MRI is presented on the right. All right, Doc, does your patient have syringomyelia, Dandy Walker, Chiari 1, Chiari 2, or Meningocele? This was a tricky one, but the patient has both Chiari 1 malformation and syringomyelia. What gave syringomyelia away was the sensory deficits to only pain and temperature in the cape-like distribution and weakness in only the arms. The Chiari 1 malformation could be suspected in a young adult with headaches and cerebellar deficits but expect to see this image with low-lying cerebellar tonsils to seal the deal. This concludes part two of the special neurology edition of 12 Days in March. If you have any questions or concerns, 
please email 12days. Thank you for watching.